morning, friends. This is Pastor Roy Olson, your uh, missionary bishop to Romania. And uh, I have a good thought this morning for you. And it has to do with uh, uh, Joseph. You remember Joseph, what happened to him with his brothers, what they did to him. They, they sold him uh, to uh, traitors. They wanted to get rid of him because of his vision and so on. They really did him dirty. They stabbed him in the back. They betrayed him. Uh, they did not behave to him as family members should behave to one another. He went through a tough time. He went through a very difficult time. And you remember he was uh, brought into Potiphar's house and his uh, Potiphar's wife got an attraction to him and he uh, refused her advances, it seems, and um, he got put into prison. As a result of that, after being falsely accused of attempted rape, and um, from there, uh, from prison, God miraculously brought him to a position of great leadership, second only to Pharaoh in Egypt. And now after some time, you know, the tables got turned. And um, Joseph is in great authority and his brothers who betrayed him, who did him wrong, who uh, really tried to get rid of him, uh, either by killing him or just selling him into slavery. They really deeply wounded and hurt him. And now they are standing in front of him and he's in the driver's seat and he has the full authority to do whatever he wants to do to them. And we read in scripture that this is what he said to them. He said, you meant it for evil. What you did was wrong. It was evil uh, that you did against me. But then he, he makes this incredible statement. He said, but God, those two words, but God. He, he recognized that God was involved in this thing. And uh, he went on to say, but, but God meant what you did, the evil, the, 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 the conniving, the betrayal that you did. God meant it for good. In other words, they, God was using their evil actions against Joseph. God was still involved here, and God was using the evil works of a man to accomplish his will in the life of Joseph. And so Joseph says, what you did was wrong, but God used the wrong that you did to me to bring about his will in my life for what? Scripture says to the, to the saving of many people. And you know, dear friend, you've gone through some stuff. Everyone goes through some stuff. And I remember the uh, little ditty adage, one ship sails east and one sails, sails west by the same wind that blows. It's the set of the sail, not the gale, that determines where the ship will go. And when you realize and you believe that God is in control and he will take the, the wrong things that have happened in life and use them for something good, you're on the right track. You're having the winning edge because those key words that Joseph said to his brother, but God, but God, 
and in your life as well. You know, say, yes, what they did was wrong. It was very, very painful. And there's uh, no uh, whitewashing it at all. But God takes it and works it together for good. God bless you. And God is with you. And God is working something good in your life. God bless you richly. I'm Pastor Roy, and I'll be back. Goodbye. But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God, and he's the same today.